Greenhopper integration and version. Versioning is something you can just put in on the project side. So for example, what I've already did is via manage versions, standard feature of Jira, I've put in version one and version two, release date and just uh, A and B for sprints. And this is generally the sequence here from top to bottom, what will be taken into account by displaying versions on um, resource planning. So on this tab, whereas on the Gantt tab, the order of time is more appropriated and focused on. Nevertheless, what we want is showing you agile usage via Greenhopper. So I switch to the planning board. For the test project, I've already prepared that, for example, version one has a start and end date, taking the due date into account as already stored. And then what I've done is that I've got here, as you see, version one and sprint A, which is a child of version one by just entering here it as a parent, having own sprint dates for start and end, so a two week sprint. And sprint 1b, following right after sprint A1, till end of November. And having version 1 as parent. So that you can see this, you have to switch back to the project and say, okay, let's see our issues. Test 1 has currently no version assigned, so let's do it right now. So you select Sprint A for it and update and keep test two unassigned to any version or, or sprint. Going back and click on Gunshot, you see the test issues as before. What you have to do is click here on Configure and say on Greenhopper, you want to have the sprints without an issue assigned to be displayed, yes or no, which is really necessary that the sprint has an end and start date. Having no dates, it cannot be displayed. So we will try this a bit later on. First of all, show sprints, yes. And it says sprints here because we have got enabled Greenhopper for this project. If this project would have been not activated for Greenhopper usage, you would see just show versions, but you cannot then uh, represent a hierarchy of versions because hierarchies, version hierarchies are just available via the Greenhopper plugin. And say save, and here just update on it. And you see, you have got sprint 1a and unscheduled our test two. This is standard behavior and quite simple. But let's just explain some displaying. The sprint starts on 1st of November and sprint 1A ends 15th of November. In fact, the task here, as you can see, ends on the 18th. And so the task is overdue. And this overdue character char characteristics is displayed by a red triangle here on that side, whereas you can see here a blue one, which means the starting point is within its version or sprint. The sprint here itself has a duration, and um, the non-working day is here, and this sprint in this time frame is red because it is overdue by some of its children here, in that case, by test one. So going back to Greenhopper, say version and also if they have no issues. Because the, uh, the hierarchy is something which um, you will just be shown, like this one now. Version one has assigned no issue but contains two sprints as subversions. And this subversion sprint 
dot b is empty i mean has no issue assigned still displayed displayed here with their own gun bar and its duration if you assign test b for example to 1b let's just do it on a tab to 1b update go back and update here you see the height of this uh, gun bar is lowered in opposite to before and it has got here the triangles indicating the most uh, left minimum date starting date of all assigned issues and here's uh, the most right end date of all assigned issues and you can for sure you can just click this together so that you can see here's an issue and over here as well and you can scroll left and right because you've got a due date set here to the end of the date I mean as a release date here on that version it is automatically converted or displayed as a milestone and the milestone here is green because you have got no overdue characteristics over there on the other side you see that you've got here a timely overlapping between sprint 1a and 1b and let's now just put in another task let's say um, clarifications whatever this means regardless it's a test only and you say this belongs to 1b and you estimate for example seven days go back to the project on the gun chart what you see here is that clarifications the new created issue knows that it belongs to a sprint and the sprint indicated by its start and end date starting on the 16th ending end of November the duration of plan start and end of this issue is automatically adapted to its assigned sprint that's why you see it that it is here exactly on that length nevertheless we have got estimated around about one week and the point is that we've got here then automatically the utilization of capacity which means uh, it is not fully um, necessary here to just uh, do this half time working would be fine in that case if you switch for example to resource planning you see here you've got 40 days of uh, effort and 50% of completeness this is already displayed here and you can drop down and this here takes just a focus on issues and their re direct related uh, versions which means version hierarchies are just visible on gun charts not on resource planning because resource planning is focused on what has to be done by whom so that you can reschedule for example which means generally you would see here a list of all available assignees and you can then drill down from the top to the bottom and you will see here overlapping uh, aspects immediately for an improvement in your resource planning to get better, better overview.